in the forest. On the west coast of Westland, down at the bottom of New Zealand, there is a lost world called Fiordland, where the forest is prehistoric. And there sits the mighty mouse-aspiring peak above where dinosaurs and mowers used to meet. For this is near the roaring forties where the polar wind blows from the south and it hits the mountains called the Southern Alps. And people have found in the fjords some species thought to be extinct, like the kakapo and the takahi. And some people still believe mowers exist somewhere hidden there in the forest. For this is a lost world from an ancient time where people can go to when they've lost something that they want to find. And when you leave your transport upon the shore and begin to explore the untouched landscape of the fjords, you see streams and trees and ravines. And if you listen, you can hear tuis and bellbirds sing. And when you see the beauty of this forest, you can see the trees blowing in the breeze with everything else sheltering underneath with the young and old and so many different species, each with their own uniqueness. By contrast, when man plants trees, he plants the same kind and straight lines all at the same time. And isn't any forester who's good when he sees a forest, he sees the wood? But if the trees are not good for their wood, then they're not good at all. Isn't that how man sees trees? But there's some arborists amongst us who love the forest naturally, and some even believe in trees mythically, as if chemistry happens in forestry. Some say there is Tane Mahuta, others say there are angels and demons, but you've got to believe to be able to see these in the trees. For a whole new world can open up in the forest, it can be light and open or dark and secret, and places exist where spider's webs can make flying dangerous for little pixies and fairies who like weaving their magic between the trees. All this from standing solid deep within the forest, deep beside the trees, deep inside of your soul indeed. For when you become familiar with the smells and you become familiar with yourself, it seems there's no mystery anymore about yourself in the forest and that you discovered the truth, that you're a sojourner on earth and you like exploring it. For if you're like me, you'd like to see if there really is a teddy bear's picnic where paradise exists, somewhere down in the forest. A place where teddy bears can come out to play and put away all their claws for a day to try to live peacefully again. But let me tell you, if all the inhabitants of the forest come out to the picnic today, There'll be sand flies the size of bombers and mosquito that fly like helicopters. But I haven't seen any mower or moose so far and I'm still looking for Jurassic Park for there's something about the forest that has captured my heart. <laughs>